Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Friday, February 2nd, 2024. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Friday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Very narrow range of price action here heading into the RTH Open and heading into the NFP report to be released here very shortly. 14 points of range, just 30% of ADR here, 29.5% to be exact. Very, very narrow range of price action as the market awaits the NFP report. A huge move back across the range. Very unexpected surprise rally here, but uh, the after hours earnings from Amazon, for example, Meta, especially these markets here really kind of got a boost on that late in the session really uh, taking out the previous highs after the sell-off from the fed day and that was a big deal there is this a huge shakeout before we push the other way yet again or is this going to lead to another continuation to new highs the idea is that this could be a heavy shakeout phase before maybe finding a strong pivot high. Right now, NFP co report coming in and seeing a little bit of selling pressure right now. NFP looks like coming in at 353K versus a 173K estimate. Seeing a little bit of selling pressure away from the previous session's close and dropping here just a hair. Uh, we have a little bit of an expanding range here developing at the top. One thing that we want to keep an eye on here, if this is going to continue lower, maybe we've hit a short-term top, maybe it's a medium-term top, but it's this left side here, it's the right side up here, and that level that we keep pointing to is going to be very important. If we start to break down through this point right here, it starts to look a bit like a head and shoulder style top. Uh, a failure of that market structure opens up the 4700 level with the potential to drop even further. Again, we do have a very clear uptrending market overall. Uh, but at the moment, again, pausing above the 4850 level and just holding in a narrow range. We've had very com uh, compressed price action heading into Fed. Now that we've had that Fed level, now that we are now through the NFP report here, uh, we'll see how this develops. Now at the moment, the idea here for the intraday session is a fade after trend day back to the midpoint. So a reaction at the highs, as we're seeing now, could get us back to the middle of the range. Price could stay in the upper half of that range of failure, and you're back down again in an up-a-day, down-a-day fashion. So again, in a box up here, uh, and the big level here to watch to begin the week is going to be right there, 48.50. Does it fail on a retest of that level, or do we bounce off that level and continue higher? That's going to be the level to watch. From an intraday perspective right now, failure to get through the 49.65 uh, zone opens up a retest back to the previous session's mid of 49.18 and perhaps a bit lower. Taking a look here at the NQ. You'll see the NQ right now showing similar price action to the ES. A big squeeze the previous session, taking out the prior highs. Right now, a bit of an extreme reversal developing with the potential to retest the previous session's midpoint. The previous session's midpoint here, 17,454. And we are also still in this range here that's developed similar to the ES. Big box to the left, smaller box above it. And this level right there is going to be very important. That's the 17.2 level. 17.165 would be the key range high there. That LVN right there. And if it fails there at some point here in the week to come, that could open up again a return back to 16.334. That's the bottom of this key range here. And that could lead to more weakness up ahead. So if we do come into this area, do bulls keep it bid? Or does it fail at that area? That's still the level to continue to watch here. From an intraday perspective, again, failure to really push through the, the, the previous highs, 17,650, opens up a return back to the mid with a shot to retest the Fed key level below. Uh, looking at crude oil, this one's showing quite a bit of weakness here. The previous session, really unable to find any kind of uh, strength. Actually, the last two days, really unable to find any strength here at the 76 level it really gave it up 
yesterday and sold off. This is a huge move right now from the 79s to 73s over the last five days, and today is still counting. We have a six-point move, uh, six move over those last five days back down, and it's a huge pullback into the 74 and now through the 74 level, trading 73.30. 74 is important because it has been a key market structure edge. We bust through that level and open up some of the upside. And uh, the early idea for the month was any pullback into this zone, especially the previous month's midpoint, would be defended by bulls for a shot at a push higher toward 80 and toward 84. Right now, that's not the case at the moment. But one thing that bulls do want to watch for is any signs of rejection down here. We see a strong low develop and then a recovery of the previous session's low that could open up a fade after trend day back up. But until a strong low develops, this market could continue to auction lower to find a strong low. As of right now, uh, a failure to hold 74s here on a closing basis could open up a return even back towards 70 here. So this is an important zone right now. Bulls really need a strong low before attempting to fade this weakness as right now this market appears quite bearish at the moment. Looking at gold, gold down about six tenths of one percent right now. This one still having trouble with the 2070 level. 2070 is here. You can see how it's been offered here throughout the year. It is the midpoint of the larger range. It continues to trade in this box for the range here. And 2080. 2080 is a key edge as well. The previous session bumping into that level and now pulling back off that zone. Gold really seeing quite a reaction here to the NFP report. Selling off quite a bit on the, uh, the release of the NFP. And a failure again at this area starts to open up a return back toward the 2046 zone. It's been trading in this box for a while. And again, we're right at the center of this larger range. And uh, the trading here has been quite difficult at the moment. Just kind of back and forth, but the swing action really hasn't been there. So be beware of the chop here in the middle of this range. Lastly, looking at the YM. The YM also showing... Signs of weakness after the NFP report was posted. A failure at the previous session's high right now and working back toward the midpoint. So a fade after trend day back to the mid is the short-term idea. Through the mid and you start to open up weakness up ahead. Uh, this one also developing uh, a similar pattern to, say, the ES or the NQ where you have a bit of a, a right um, head here to the left shoulder. A failure at the 38. 38.1 zone starts to open up a return back down a bit. And even if we did drop into this area, it could bounce back up. But uh, right now, in this part of the chart at the moment, and looking like it's uh, unwilling or unable to push through the next levels above at 38.8, so instead we could rotate back down. And really, up a day, down a day, up a day, this could be a down a day that takes us all the way back to the previous session's open price. We could be looking at a, a 38 300 level up ahead. So right now, keeping an eye on the weakness here and looking for a fade back toward the mid from a short-term perspective with the potential to even walk it back down the range. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops here heading into the rest of the session. Happy Friday. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.